Uh, somebody writes, how do you think the humanities will be important in uh, uh, developing habits of the mind? Well, you know, um, one of the things that I thought about is um, what if we were to study the evolution of empathy during the process of, say, taking a course in literature? I mean, so much of literature is about human empathy. So much of, 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 of literature is about getting deeply into the mindsets of these characters so that I think uh, that um, it happens every day in the humanities, that developing those habits of the mind are critical. We just had a discussion today. Um, uh, Wynn Thompson's here from, uh, from the American University of Kuwait, and I was telling him that there are universities in Korea that have eliminated their humanities because they think they need to focus on, uh, uh, on, on training the uh, technocrats of the future. And in my discussions uh, with Korean leaders, I've said that that's exactly the opposite of what they want to do. That where Korea is now economically is that they've got to start being creative. They are not going to make their uh, future by copying other technologies and selling them more inexpensively. They now have to come up with the new ideas, the, in, the cultural production. And to me, uh, studying the humanities and the arts is absolutely critical. So you can, you can uh, I think, map ma uh, uh, many of these traits, uh, habits of the mind, on to the coursework that we're already doing, um, especially in the humanities and the arts, others as well, but especially, I think, uh, in courses in the humanities.